Okay, I'm going to talk you through creating a new title block in C Electrical. This is uh, version 7, release 2. I'm going to create a new workspace. And I'm going to use standard consecutive numbers. Once I've got my workspace, I can then right click on circuit diagrams and create a new page and select OK. Now I've got a title block already here and it's on a protected layer so I can't do anything with that. So in the general tab I can go to select all or control A, right click and explode the title block. Everything is now separate elements, I can move, touch, I can change anything I want. What I'm now going to do is change the logo, so I'm going to select that, simply hit delete and in the general tab I'm going to click on picture and I'm going to insert a picture. So this is my own logo, so I'm going to put that in, click OK, and there's my logo. Control and wheel to zoom out. I've now got text in here, which is just some of the uh, attribute text is just there as uh, connection nodes. So all I have to do is hit Control E for edit, which is the same as this one here on the toolbar. Click on the text, and I can see that this is using an attribute of page description line 1. The attributes will either come from the workspace information, or from the page content information. So we can select workspace and we can select an attribute to fill in the information as soon as we actually create the workspace or create the page. Over here we have an example. We have a piece of text for initials, which I'd probably change. Control E, I'm going to put that as being created by. And I can just close that down. Um, I might want to move that across a little bit, so I'm going to just select these bits here and move those across the left a bit. And I'm going to select this attribute down here on the left, click on it, and I can see this is using page description line 5. But in fact, I think there's a more suitable one just a bit further up. Page created by. I'm going to double click on that. That's the attribute I've now set that as. So I've made a change to the title block, change the actual logo. What I'm going to do now is just select all again on the general tab, right click, and I'm going to block this now. So I'm going to create a group and call it a page template or title block. When I click OK, everything's back onto the locked layers. I haven't saved this yet. I'm going to hit F3 to zoom extend so I can see everything. I'm going to make sure I'm back on a 5mm grid because it will remember your grid settings. I'm going to, then I'm going to go to File, hover over Save As, so that I can now click on Page Template. Type a name in, click on Save, and there's your template. For future pages within this workspace, I can right-click on the circuit diagrams in my IEC workspace, click on Properties, and now in the top selection there, I can select the example template. So from now on, in this workspace, I can go to New. And if I put my initials in there, I should find it creates a new page. I've got the logo on there already. And I've now got my initials in there as well. If I wanted to save this for future so that all my projects have this, I can delete all pages in here. The settings on the IEC circuit diagrams are already changed to use that title block. So now all I do is go to File, hover over Save As. It looks as though it's greyed out, but there is one option there to save as a workspace template. Example template for workspace. I click on Save. And now if I close this down and just show you an example, File new, test new, page template, and now I have an option here, an example template for workspace. I can go straight ahead, right click, create a new page, and I've got my title lock in there. So from now on, if I use that template, I'm using the right information.